Kimberly Jones, aka Lil' Kim, arrived July 11th out in Brooklyn. As a kid, her parents would clash vibes, leaving the moms with black eyes. Her dad would play it off and say she fell. Mom couldn't take it, split, moved to New Rochelle. Kim was only eight, they had run and dip off, deprived the shelter, living out the trunk of a car. The pressure had to be horror. Moms couldn't take it, sent her back with her father. For Lil' Kimberly, this was cool, cause the New Rochelle kids would tease her in school. Back with dad, the shift was heavy and different. He was barely home cause military commitments. So she stayed with her aunt and the projects and the crib that it was always guys at. The effect of this, God took advantage in the home of a relative. Her soul inside hurts. Dad came back from the military and only got worse. She in the stage where she maturing, 13 with a 15 year old boyfriend. Dad ain't like that, now he's hurt. Called the Lord Queen B, a B word. Things got physical between two of them. Kim had the K-I-M, keep it moving. At 14, kicked out, loose and deprived. On the streets, doing what she gotta do to survive. Seeking men whose status was up. But most said she wasn't attractive enough. She was too dark and they wasn't with it. Made her unconfident in her appearance. The guys who did accept her for what it is, will have been in the field selling substances, exchanging her goods for services. But this wasn't permanent. Her musical aspirations began to grow. Got featured in a Slick Rick video, Teenage Love. This was kinda huge, you see. Years later, got a big opportunity. Rap for big, relationship was soon to prosper. Made it a queen, the junior mafia. At this point, success slid through. Became a superstar, sex symbol. Money, power, respect, obtaining this. But sometimes success while you're young, is dangerous. Where pain pent up from when they teased her. Made surgical adjustments to her features. Received backlash from the media. But they don't know the pain inside that was eating her. They just see that hardcore appeal. But they don't know depression is hardcore, for real. So though I don't agree with some choices. And wish it could have been avoided. I know what trauma and damage it mean. With that said, thou shalt not slander.